we are solving a dose conversion problem. First we have the order, and the order is for 60 milligrams as an IV push every six hours. Next we have the supply. It says the vial for reconstitution contains 40 milligrams of this mid as a powder and a pre-filled diluent that when mixed produce one milliliter of volume. So the two pieces that I've underlined here together create the strength of the med. There are 40 milligrams in a volume of one milliliter. We're asked to calculate the volume to administer to the patient. We'll look at this problem using the three methods that can apply to dosing problems. First, we'll look at dimensional analysis. In dimensional analysis, we always start with the order, in this case 60 milligrams, and place it over one. Next, we'd like to cancel the milligrams, so we'll place the milligrams on the bottom of the fraction. Available to us is a medication that has 40 milligrams in it, and that 40 milligrams is equivalent to one milliliter. This allows me to cancel milligrams. My units are now milliliters, and I've been asked to calculate the volume. Milliliters are a measurement of volume, so I'm ready to do the math. In my calculator, I'll take 60 divided by 40, and that gives me 1.5. Because this is metric, I will write that as a decimal, 0.5 rather than a half, and the label is milliliters. We can also solve the problem using the nursing formula. In the nursing formula, we start with the desired amount or doctor's order, which is 60 milligrams. We place that over what we have on hand, and we have 40 milligrams in a quantity of one milliliter. In the nursing formula, the labels must cancel, and they do. So I'm ready to do the math. 60 divided by 40 times 1 gives me an answer of 1.5, a label of milliliters. Milliliters is a volume, so I've solved the problem. We can also solve this problem using a proportion. In the proportion, we'll start with what is ordered, in this case 60 milligrams, and place it over what we want. So we want a volume and the volume that's mentioned is milliliters, so I'll put x milliliters on the bottom of this fraction. Proportions are made of equal fractions. Available to me is 40 milligrams in one milliliter. I double check to see that my labels match. Both fractions have milligrams on top, both have milliliters on bottom, so this is a true proportion, and I can solve it with the cross product. Multiplying on the first diagonal, 60 times 1 is 60. Multiplying on the second diagonal, 40 times x is 40x. To continue solving, I divide by 40 on both sides to isolate the variable. On the right-hand side, the 40s cancel, leaving me with x equals. On the left, I do the math, and I get 1.5. I check back in my proportion, and the label for that 1.5 is milliliters. 